So it's day 28 and we've already done quite a few posts on the previous weeks. Day 7, 14, 21 and now 28 is another time for us to put a post out. But this post is one we've never used before. And it's an exciting one because it generally will double the traffic to your website. So what type of post are we talking about? We're talking about a Google My Business event post. And you might say, well, I haven't got any events with my business. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how you can get events even for a standard business that perhaps doesn't hold events. Maybe you don't have fates, maybe you don't have jumble sales, maybe you don't have conferences or, or meetings. Don't worry though, there are ways in which you can still put events out for your business. So I'll show you that a bit later on in the video. But events through Google and for business can be quite interesting because there's a twofold way of doing it. So not all the events that you see in Google's results are a result of just the events you're adding into Google My Business. And this is something that most people don't realize, that you can actually have events not just through Google My Business, but also through a structured data markup as well, which I'll show you in a moment. So first of all, if you do have an event, the first thing you wanna do is put it on your website and have that as the main focus to go to for the information. And then secondly, you can then add the markup as well so that it gets scraped by Google and Google then draws that into its own results. Thirdly, you could then add it to third party areas that have events as well and they'll help with the markup. They might promote it as well through to Google, like Eventbrite and so on. And then finally, you want to also then put it on your Google My Business as an event too. And with all those things going on, then hopefully that will give you the promotion that you deserve for your event. The last thing you want is an event date to start and no one turn up. So when you're putting together your event, what type of title should you put on it? Bearing in mind, it will appear as being bold. Well, you want people to respond to the event because it captures their interest. So sometimes it's important to have a tool that helps you to capture the interest of your audience using the right words and using words that are powerful or that make a response is important too. So there's a free tool which I'll put in a link below that will show you how you can do that, how you can put some ideas of events and perhaps a couple of key words in, and it will give you some great ideas as to how you could reword that event. When you're writing an event, you can have up to 58 characters that include spaces as well. So you want to make sure you get the maximum amount of use of those characters and on mobile, sometimes some of those characters will get cut off. So particularly the first half of those characters, the first 30 or so characters of your event is gonna to have to capture the interest or the eyes of users to go to that event. And it's not mandatory to have an event title, but the fact that it puts it in bold, there's no other post that uses bold in a post. So you'd be missing out if you didn't put some type of information that's gonna capture interest because it does go bold. So what things can you do today then? Well, first of all, just try and think of an event. So just try and think outside the box. Even if it's just a case you have an open day, you have a coffee morning, you just have people perhaps to, you open up an event so that people can make a booking time with you on a particular day. You can come up with events really just by being a little bit imaginative as well. So try having an event for the sake of just trying it out and seeing what the response is. And then also try changing the titles so that it captures people's interest. So if you've always just put a certain title for your events, try something different. Maybe even try split testing it and seeing whether changing the title makes a big difference to the response that you get for your next event. And try different CTA buttons on your event. So with an event button, it might be call, it might be learn more, it might be book, it might be whatever the call to action is, just try something different each time because you may find that your type of person that wants to go to your events prefers to, to phone or prefers to message or prefers to visit the website than they do to do something else, some other action. Mason Cooley said quite an interesting quote really. He said, an event is not over until everyone is tired of talking about it. So sometimes events may last a month or two, so keep promoting it. Every so often, every seven days maybe, put another event promotion out, change the title, and see if that helps promote it. Sometimes just one change can make a dramatic difference to the response. And it's always interesting to know how you're going about using events. So what tricks have you tried for your events? What have you had as a success? And also, have you tried events? Yes or no? Put it down below and let me know in the comments. It's always interesting to hear what you do with events too. Are you missing greater exposure through events? So could it be that you've got events going on, but you just don't use them on Google My Business 
and you certainly haven't used the structured data markup to help promote those events through Google. Well, as you can see, Google uses events quite dramatically in its results and uses it on more than one occasion. So whether it's for cinema, whether it's for conferences, or whether it's just for your local event, do consider using it. Secondly, do you use events correctly? Have you considered making those dates clearer? Have you considered changing the title so it captures people's interest for that event? And how much interest has your events captured to date? Well, if it's a 100% increase, which is what the study goes to show, it may be you're missing a trick by not using all the facility of events and capturing people's attention. So are the events here, so there's an event for example, are these events then the same as the events you get if you do say a search for a conference event, which you get in this type of summary here? Well, no, they're not. They are, these are picked up slightly differently. There's some similarities, but you would need to make sure you've got markup on your website or use a third party piece of software to pick these up. So let's just pick up and explain what these are first before we go on to the Google My Business ones. So you notice certain events get picked up. I can click on tomorrow and it will then bring up this whole kind of semi kind of information pack. So it's similar to the knowledge panel, but it's not quite the same. So this is a bit more of a bespoke way in which Google does this. If you want to learn more, you can click on here and it'll tell you more information. So if I do a search for family friendly events, again, I get a different uh, event come up. I can look at this weekend. And again, it goes into this further detail as well. And again, if I do here, London conference events, then these come up as well. So that's one way in which it can work. Another way is I did a search for cinemas and um, this came up and then you can actually have the, the trailer come up as well. This is more like a knowledge panel again, some information really on the particular film. If I click on different films, then I'll get different information. I get the times and so on. So what Google's doing is it's getting much more information from certain businesses about events so that you can then fill up the events and make it a much more rich and a much more useful uh, way of accessing the information. So that's what that's about. So events in a kind of business profile knowledge panel, they're not connected to the Google events that we're used to doing for our own business. But if you do want to use third party sources like event, uh, event full, event bright, then that's the way forward. So let's look at, this is event bright, for example. So there you can access it, you can create an event, you can sign in. And then by doing so, that will produce the markup that Google then will come across. So that's Eventbrite. And Eventbrite claim that it really does work. It really does help with this event schema and the structured data markup that they do. But you can, of course, add that yourself on your own website as well. Google explains that if you go to Google Search Central, you can get your event on Google and you can get these types of events showing up, not just through the Google My Business, but also you can do it through the markup as well. And so this kind of explains where you can go, how you can get the structured markup. Eventbrite as well, they've said here, boosts traffic 100% with events. So this is why I'm suggesting that you just look at it. Is it worth doing for your business? Could you arrange an event, get it onto the website and then double the traffic as well? And as you can see here, if you do want to know how to write the schema for it, if you go to schema.org forward slash event, and then you'll get all the things that Google is picking up and all the properties that it can use as well to make that happen for you. And you can then test it as well. So once you've got the code, you can go to a rich results test here and that will test to prove whether or not the markup is valid or not. So if that's your thing, if you want to do that, then by all means. So let's just finally look at how you create a post for Google My Business. It's literally a case of, it's one of the last ones if you go to not products, but events. And then you can read about how this is another post, but it's a certain type of post that will get picked up by Google. Adding photos or videos, same as normal. Event title, so do have a look. So if you want the event title, then Fat Joes. So you can type in the topics. Let's say for instance, I was a landscape gardener. So if I was doing a landscape garden event where people say it was an open event, I show them some of the work I've done or something, this will just give you some ideas. So um, this week's top stories about landscape gardener. So you might want to uh, use that, the history of landscape gardening. You might have that as an event. Um, how technology is changing landscape gardening. That might be a good one. Seven simple secrets. 
So what you're looking at really is, this isn't ever going to give you the exact title, but it does give you some kind of powerful words, like seven simple secrets. Maybe you just might want to put that as an event, and you might call the event seven simple secrets of landscape gardening. It's just better than just saying, come to my landscape gardening event. So Fat Joe, really nice little useful way of having titles generated if that's your thing. So going back to uh, the post, so you want a good event title, then you can choose your start date and your end date. And it doesn't appear to be a limit read. I think you've got up to about a year. Uh, and again, if you've got specific times, you can put that on as well. And then you can have more detail. This is optional. So you can have it simple and just publish it, or you can go for the extra detail. And this gives you then a whole paragraph or two you can write about the event. And then this is a call to action button. So your choice here is to book it, to order online, to buy it, to learn more, sign up or call now. Of course, if you do call now, then it'll put your telephone number. If you do sign up or learn more, you can then put a specific link. So you might want to link through to your website and that will then double that 100% traffic increase that we mentioned earlier. You can preview it just to see how it looks. Uh, so I've done one a few weeks ago for my 30 day event. So this is how it turned out, a free 30 day event. So that's my, my main title, but you notice it's bold, it stands out. I've got the first to the 30th, boost my business, and then some information about it. And I've tried, I was just experimenting to see if hashtags work as I was using a hashtag for boost my business. Learn more, what does it do? It takes them through to my website. So that's how I use it. How does it look then in Google? Well, as an event, you'll notice it's here. So it stands out, look at that, a big, bold title. And if I click on that, then we get some more information as well on there. So you can have more than one image and then you'll see again, bold stands out title and all that information is there as well. And these are some more posts. So it's kind of amongst the posts, but it does have the bold title and the date to help it stand out too. So for those mind blown titles, then Fat Joe might be able to help you there. So do give it a go, it's free. And I found it's been really helpful when I wanted to put, not just for events, but also just for posts in general. If you want a, an eye-catching title, give that a go.